distinguished officials from the Philippines Department of Agriculture, representatives from contracting parties in Asia, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. It is my honor to send you this video message from Rome to welcome you to this regional workshop on the conservation and sustainable use of plant genetic resources and farmers' rights. This is the first time the Secretariat is holding this kind of workshop in the Asia region, and we are looking forward to your active participation. This workshop has been made possible thanks to the generous support of the government of Italy and the government of the Philippines, and I would like to extend our sincere gratitude to both the Italian government and the Philippine government for their valuable support. The International Treaty aims to ensure that the wealth of the world's food crop diversity is conserved, shared and sustainably used so that farmers can continue to grow crops to feed their families and the planet. It is perhaps more crucial than ever to conserve and sustainably use world's plant genetic resources for food and agriculture. Last week here at FAO headquarters, Director General Da Silva launched the first ever report of the state of the world's biodiversity for food and agriculture, and the message is clear. Our biodiversity is shrinking at an alarming rate. From a PGRFA perspective, more and more people are relying on fewer and fewer crops. Every loss of food crop variety further weakens our food basket and the diversity of the basis of our nutrition. This trend has to be reversed now before it is too late. All of you are, in one way or another, working to our common goal of conserving and sustainably using our crop diversity. We are proud to have you with us in these important efforts. And here, I would like to particularly acknowledge and express gratitude for the enormous contributions of indigenous communities and small-scale family farmers upon whom the whole world depends for our food and nutrition. Plant genetic resources are a public good that benefits the global community, and we must work together to protect this invaluable and irreplaceable crop biodiversity. This year marks the 15th anniversary of the entry into force of the International Treaty. Over the years, the International Treaty has become invaluable in the conservation and sustainable use of PGRFA, working with countries and partner organizations around the world to conserve and sustainably use the world's precious plant genetic resources, both in the form of seeds of plants that provide food and nutrition and in the vital information pertaining to seeds. As the first legally binding international instrument that specifically acknowledges the tremendous contributions of indigenous communities and farmers to the development and management of plant genetic resources over millennia, the International Treaty is leading the way on farmers' rights and encourages contracting parties to recognize and protect the rights of indigenous farming communities and smallholder farmers. This Asia Regional Training Workshop is an important opportunity to exchange new ideas and learn from each other's experiences and best practices, both on the conservation and sustainable use of PGRFA and about how best to implement farmers' rights in your national contexts. My colleagues from the Secretariat are there with you in Manila and will, over the next few days, be leading this workshop. We hope this will help you better implement the provisions of the International Treaty in your home countries. I would like to thank each of you for your efforts, particularly thank Mr. George Kulaste and his team for helping make this training workshop for the Asia region a reality. I would like to wish you a fruitful workshop. Thank you.